Hi, please kindly subscribe to this channel, One Forum News, for the best analysis on politics, crime, security, and historical facts. Let us go to Uganda to take a critical look at the current killings and assassination in that country by zeroing in on the killing of one Colonel Charles Okelo Angola, who was killed by his own bodyguard in his home on Tuesday, May 2nd, 2023. He was killed by one Wilson Sabiti, who is supposed to be his bodyguard. And over the years, the bodyguard is supposed to protect the one that they are, they are assigned to. But in this very situation, his own bodyguard, Wilson, killed Charles Angola. Let us look at exactly what happened. On that fateful day, Wilson went to his boss as usual, was on duty. He studied and monitored the movement of the boss and at the end gunned him down when they were about to leave the house. He then shot the ADC to the minister, Ronald Utin, and went on rampage shooting and shouting his grievances of not being paid for months. And his wife is pregnant and life is out for him. In fact, for the records, the ADC is still alive and receiving treatment at the hospital. But he is also a soldier. So the fact that a junior officer, Sabiti, can face a senior officer and shoot him is also a serious issue, let alone a minister, a minister that is supposed to protect, who was also a colonel in the army before resigning. Sabiti was assigned to the minister's security detail a month ago. This has raised the suspicion that he may have had this plan long ago and just looking for the golden opportunity to strike which he did last Tuesday. He later turned the gun on himself and took his own life. That was surely after realizing how he would suffer in the wicked arms of the laws of Uganda. In fact, what is very surprising is how the citizens of Uganda, especially the youth, are so happy and rejoicing over the death of the minister and praising the soldier, Sabiti, as a hero and showing him sympathy and a lot of love and praises. This shows that there is something fundamentally wrong in Uganda, and how people in power use and abuse their powers need to be checked. If my memory set me right, the same rejoicing and excitement happened when the former security minister, one general, Eli Chowini, died in August 2022. He was the one that made the infamous statement in a viral video that, I quote, the police have the right to shoot and kill you. Very reckless statement. We need to be condemned at all levels. But that is what power does if you allow power to get into your head. Social media went agog when he died. And sadly enough, his infamous video is going viral again after the killing of Colonel Charles Angola. Another incident that I can remember very well, vividly, because I followed that story so much, because of how the whole thing happened, is when General Katumba Wambala, Wamala was attacked and his beautiful daughter, Brenda, was killed by armed men. Sadly, the citizens celebrated and were happy. Meanwhile, this should not be the case. In Africa. Because mostly in Africa, that is in our setting, we mourn the dead irrespective of what. But Uganda citizens argue that morality and sympathy always give way when people are oppressed and traumatized by their leaders. But is this something that is justifiable for them to celebrate over the death of people, including the, the recent one, that is the colonel? No, that shouldn't be. But the question I dare ask is, what at all is wrong with Uganda? Are the citizens tired of their leaders and the older generation ruling them? If I as a political observer, their leaders paint beautiful pictures of all is well in the country. But it is very clear that the citizens are not happy, and it seems they are always eager to hear a bad news of the death and killings of their leaders, which is not so good for governance and leadership. 
If all is not well with the country, that is Uganda, the leader should try hard to work in the interest of the masses so that these sad incidences of masses rejoicing over the killing of ministers or top officials can stop or minimize. Though politics, by definition, is conflictual, as opponents always wish for the fall of their competitors, I think something good can be done about these very incidences happening in Uganda. People blame it on the government and others also blame it on individuals. But in every society we have bad notes. And where Uganda is situated, it's very easy for people to have access to guns because of the conflicts around that country as well as the insecurity and the rebels here and there. Now, people also argue that if your bodyguard is supposed to protect you, is killing you, that means there is a need for worry. In fact, when it comes to political assassinations, we have a lot of them. And the examples are just numerous. We can talk about Abraham Lincoln of US, Jeff Kennedy of US, Abubakar Tafio Balewa of Nigeria, Muhammad Al Sadat, as well as Juvenile Habyarimana of Rwanda, among others. However, for a leader or a political official to be killed by his bodyguard, who is to protect him, is not so common as it happened in the case of Charles Okello. In fact, I call for a worry. And apart from Lauren Kabila and some few others who were killed by their bodyguards, this issue of the one to protect you, rather killing you, is rare. And it's called for very serious concern for Uganda. Uganda has to do something about this situation. Though the killings are all over. Until recently, we have seen a lot of killings here and there in Uganda. That is why the government of Uganda have to stop the complacency and twisting of issues and work to address the grievances of the soldiers and the ordinary citizens. Because it seems morale is low in the barracks and the citizens are also not happy. Quick actions are needed, and I know Uganda can do this and do this great for their citizens. The pictures they are painting out there, let the citizens feel the reality so that they will always not keep on rejoicing at the death and killings of the officials. There should be joy and excitement over good things in Uganda, not bad news. Please kindly subscribe to this channel, One Forum News, for the best analytics on politics crime, security, and historical facts. Thank you so much. Always be in touch. Thank you.